With Saturday night's Canelo vs. John Ryder battle in the books, the countdown to his customary September Mexican Independence Day fight weekend began. However, in what was supposed to be nothing more than a dominant and definitive victory for Alvarez, Canelo struggled more than expected and even appeared fatigued and lackluster in victory. With just about every fighter at and below the 175-pound division already waiting for a shot, the prospects of a victory for these hungry opponents have now gone up. Here we look at five possibilities for Alvarez's next fight and the chances of each taking place. Cuban standout David Morel is eager for a big event and will eventually get one. At only 8-0, the current WBA super middleweight super champion has looked fantastic thus far, despite relatively unknown opposition. With his name on this list because of his extensive amateur career along with his prodigious power, Morel still is highly unlikely to get a Canelo assignment due to the risk-reward factor, along with more proven, marketable options. The chances of this happening are at about a 1 out of 10. Coming in at number 4, Demetrius Andrade. Best known for his epic press conference asking Canelo for a fight despite his 32-0 record, Andrade's boxing ability is top-notch. The Southpaw has been plagued by inactivity throughout his career, averaging only about one fight per year since 2017 and not having the biggest name amongst the fighters in the running for a payday against Canelo. Due to his desperation for a fight with Alvarez regardless of weight, his ability, and history of the infamous press conference he and Alvarez's names will always be linked. But overall the likelihood of him being chosen are slim to none at about a 2 out of 10. At number 3 on the list is Jermall Charlo. The middleweight champion has been on a bit of a hiatus lately but much like every other fighter has always publicly campaigned for a fight with Canelo. Though talks of a fight between him and Alvarez have never escalated, Charlo has a bit of a chance due to a few factors, one being his insistence on not fighting a fighter of Mexican descent on the September Mexican Independence Day holiday weekend. The other is the fact that Charlo's inactivity and rumors of issues outside of the ring may prove to be valuable for Canelo by fighting a rusty fighter with a big name who would be moving up in weight. Let's say this gives him a 4 out of 10 chance at the September payday. The only reason he's not higher on this list is due to Canelo's insistence on fighting a familiar foe. Everybody knows we want Bivol, the rematch with Bivol. If the, the fight with Bivol don't happen, in, then we'll see. I'm, I'm able to fight everybody. Do you insist that that fight be at 175 pounds? Yeah, same rules, same thing. And perhaps the worst timing possible, Canelo continues to publicly pursue the Dimitri Bivol rematch. While you can never fault a fighter's pride in wanting to avenge a defeat, Alvarez would be wise not to put himself at a disadvantage by continuing to go beyond his natural weight class. Not to mention the fact that Bivol's reason for victory wasn't solely due to his weight advantage. Dimitri Bivol is one of the most skilled fighters in boxing and would be a serious problem even if he were a natural 168-pounder. Although a rematch attempt for Canelo would be applauded by some due to his courage and determination, he'd be best served by finishing the business in his own division. Unfortunately for Canelo fans hoping their favorite fighter can avoid another setback, the chances of this rematch happening are fairly high, with Matchroom's Eddie Hearn already proceeding towards negotiations with Bivol's team. Therefore, we'll give the chances of this rematch happening an 8 out of 10. Despite the fact the Bivol rematch is more likely, the fight with David Benavidez is the one most fight fans would almost universally prefer. Again, while Canelo's desire for revenge is commendable, it's not necessary at this time. If most fans were polled they'd prefer Bivol vs. Betterbiv at 175 and Canelo vs. Benavidez at 168, with Undisputed on the line for both. But because Canelo continually insists on not fighting a fellow fighter of Mexican descent, particularly on a Mexican independence holiday, the chances of this happening are at about a 6 out of 10. A rematch with Bivol is not a priority for anyone besides Canelo, but of course, it's his career and he'll do whatever he pleases, even if it's ultimately to his own detriment. 